Here's the thing. I watched Donald Trump's post-impeachment speech last night, and I'll play you a couple clips of it. It's, it's, it's fine. But you know what I saw? I saw a man who's just done with it all. He's out of gas. He's done with it all. And I don't blame him. Being president, uh, being a Democrat president when the media is just a bunch of little puppies for you is exhausting. Being a Republican president is brutal. Being Donald Trump had to be brutal. So I, I don't blame him for being out of gas, but I'm not talking about him. He's going to be gone and he's fine. I'm talking about you. And, and I'm talking about me. You're going to have to discipline yourself. And I really have to work on myself about this to do something critically, critically important over the next four years and so simple yet so difficult sometimes. You know what you're going to have to do? You're going to have to take this. And you're going to have to set it down. You're going to have to walk away from it for a while. And the reason I tell you that is this. It is important that you don't stop fighting. You don't stop paying attention. You don't stop being involved. You don't stop running for office, supporting people running for office, voting, working on campaigns, working on this cultural issue or that cultural issue, speaking out. These things are important. But you are going to stop at some point in time if you burn yourself out. And it's easy. It's really easy under a Democrat presidency, Democrat House, Democrat Senate, Democrat Senate, in a completely rotted out culture to look around every once in a while. You know, you're, you're spending too much time on here and bad news and bad news and bad news and bad news. And then you're watching TV and it's bad news and bad news and radio and it's bad news and bad news. And it's easy to just eventually just be, I'm done. I'm done with it. I'm walking away. I'm going to take up knitting or something. But you can't do that. And because you can't do that, it is important that you take the time for yourself to walk away for a few. I just took a week off from the show at Christmas time. I love doing the show. I feel like I'm on vacation when I do the show. I took a week off in preparation for the next four years. Just get away for a little while. You do it. You do it. And I won't say it saddened me to watch Donald Trump post impeachment last night to speak like this, just because it sounds kind of girlish to say that. But I'll be honest, it kind of saddened me. I want to be very clear. I unequivocally condemn the violence that we saw last week. Violence and vandalism have absolutely no place in our country and no place in our movement. He's already said that. He's already said that on video like five, six times. I know the media is lying about that, but he's already said that. He just looks like a guy who's done fighting back. And I, I don't blame him. That's not a rip on him at all. It's been a long four years, but it bummed me out. He went on and said this. Mob violence goes against everything I believe in and everything our movement stands for. No true supporter of mine could ever endorse political violence. No true supporter of mine could ever disrespect law enforcement or our great American flag. No true supporter of mine could ever threaten or harass their fellow Americans. If you do any of these things, you are not supporting our movement. You are attacking it, and you are attacking our country. We cannot tolerate it. Okay. Good. I, I'm, I'm glad he said that. Hopefully, that does something to turn down the temperature up there, out there. But the thing is, I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know that they're going to stop poking and prodding at us. I don't. And that's a problem. Hey, thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me. Like it. Subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.